some very uh, sad breaking news to bring you on TalkSport. Former West Ham United and Newcastle manager Glenn Roder has passed away at the age of 65 after a long battle with a brain tumour. Roder, remember, also playing for the likes of QPR, Newcastle and Watford and suffered from a brain tumour which troubled him right the way through his managerial career. So that's the sad breaking news to bring you right now on TalkSport. Um, Perry, um, what are your memories of, of Glenn Roder um, as a manager? Obviously, he had his time at Newcastle. What are your memories of him? My, mine was more of playing against him, Ali, to be honest. And um, he would have flourished in, the, in, in today's game because he was a centre-half who liked to play out from the back. Yeah. And I can remember playing up against him where he sent her off who did foot over. Memory, Coley Memory's trademark was a foot over. He the still, the, the still best foot, step over ever. Yeah, you still foot over. And you go, no, no, center arms aren't supposed to do that. What are you doing? <laughs> he just made me look a complete idiot. And mm. I used to have to run after him. And he, he was in, you know, sort of the 80s, which was a very attritional and, you know, 4 4 2 getting the ball forward. He was like a beacon. He'd say he would bring the ball out from the back. So he would be perfect in today's football. He's uh, very good technically. Was uh, did well for Matt, uh, West Ham in the first season. I think he finished seventh in yeah. the in the Premier. And I uh, got to meet him a couple of times off the pitch, and he was a gentleman, just a really, really nice bloke. No airs and graces about him. Uh, always very polite. Obviously knew like the game inside out. But uh, say to play against, he was unusual in that era that he was a a ball playing uh, sort of centre half, and uh, he was a, he was a joy to watch. As a centre half, which more normal centre halves, Carl knows those where they head it, kick it, like you know, defend properly, but he could play. Carl, that's what you said as well. Um, as soon as we heard the news, first thing you said was a footballing centre half, and you mentioned that step over as well. What are your memories of him? Yeah, R- Rhodes was a, a, a real nice guy. Um, I come across him quite quite a few times, to be fair. And I remember when he was manager at uh, Norwich, he tried to sign me to go to Norwich, you know, so. You know, it's a sad loss it for, for a real gentleman. Uh, Groves, you touched on it there, I'm a, a real gentleman. Mm. You know, and condolences to, um, obviously, his family. Certainly is. Um, it'd be nice to hear from West Ham fans. QPR fans obviously look spent a lot of time there as a player, and Newcastle fans as well. I mean, the lines are open. Call us 0817 Text us, and I'll read out some of your texts of your best memories of uh, Glenn Roder. Uh, a line here from um, LMA chair and former Leeds United manager Howard Wilkinson who said that Glenn was a cultured defender as a player. He managed with a studious style and was always generous for his time and ideas. Glenn was such an unassuming, kind gentleman who demonstrated lifelong dedication to the game. Um, Perry, I want to go back to you because you mentioned him as a player because there are a lot of people um, around my age group, I guess, would think of him as a manager and only have those memories of him as a manager. Um, When you can compare him to a footballer now, a defender now, who is he most like? Um... John Stones, he likes to play out from the back. Doesn't know he's got better defensive now, only John Stones, but, you know, uh, from before. Um, I'd say just very... And he used to play uh, when QPR had the plastic pitch. Yeah. And there's a lot of centre-forwards and wingers and from the opposition have got scars still on them where they should try and track him <laughs> back. And they've, he's given the dummy and he's dropped his shoulder and they've gone on the plat and grazed all their knees. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, he, was, he, he, he could have played... Actually... Like he could have played in continental football, mm. you know, as well. You know, when they like a Barese, you know, or he could play as a sweeper. In the old days, it was more of a like just a two, and he he would be what you call the number two centre half, where the big centre half goes and heads it, and Glenn Roder just sort of sweeps around him. Libero, you know I mean? pardon? The libero. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, and he could put his foot in. You know, and we see he's, he's lovely off the pitch. You, you don't survive and play as many games as what he did in sort of the eighties and nineties without having that little bit of steel. And I think maybe on the managerial side, maybe he didn't like the political side of it. And mm. uh, there's sort of a, a ruthless edge you have to have. Do you know what I mean? On that side. I think his man management was, was excellent, but I don't think he liked, there's a sort of a, a dark side of the game sometimes when you manage well. And that probably probably didn't suit him. But as you said there, he'll, and quite rightly, there'll be people who, who knew him, knew of him, played against him. Everybody will talk about him uh, in glowing terms. You won't hear one bad word Definitely. from anybody said about uh, a Glenn Roder at all. Yeah, again, just to confirm that, that the sad news that has come to us in on TalkSport, former West Ham United and Newcastle United manager Glenn Roder has passed away at the age of 65 after a long battle with a brain tumour. I really do want to um, get some texts in from West Ham fans, from Newcastle fans, QPR fans, obviously spent nearly, what, six seasons at QPR 
as a player as well.